Hello and welcome to Gom at Home. This is what we're preparing. Something easy to prepare, something light, something Mediterranean. We're preparing today fish fillet with olive tapinad. And to begin with, we have our flour. Just about uh, maybe uh, less than half a cup of flour. And then we'll season our flour with lots of, uh, lots of pepper. Then we'll put in some, uh, some garlic powder. Yeah. We'll season it with uh, some oregano. Yeah, this will be so flavorful. And a little paprika, some cayenne pepper, just to give it a little heat. And of course, some, some salt. Okay. okay, mix this well. And this will be our, our breading for, for fish. Once it's mixed well, we can start dipping our, dipping our fish. And then we'll uh, start heating our, um, our skillet. Put it in medium heat. And we'll coat our fish. There you go. Beautiful. Then let's put in some uh, Doña Elena pomas. Okay, let's put it in medium heat. And we'll cook our fish for about, about four minutes aside. Once it's hot, we'll get nothing fish, nothing jan. And then after this, we'll start preparing our tapinad. Wow. Careful. And another one. So while we're uh, preparing our, while we're cooking our fish, but let me wash my hands. So we'll heat up another skillet, put it in low heat, and then we will toast our anchovies. Then we'll put in some tomatoes, we'll put in some uh, pepper, okay? Begin with tomatoes. You can use, um, you can use sun-dried tomatoes, but if you don't have sun-dried tomatoes, fresh tomatoes will do, no? This is the reason why we have to uh, slightly cook our our tomatoes just to take out the the juice in it take out the liquid let it evaporate cut them in big pieces just like that and they don't have to be very small because when you do tapenade you, know, you really want to have a bite of uh, all your ingredients you don't want them to be pureed ayaw mo nang ano yung ayaw mo nang pinong pino masyado yung yung tapenade mo so we'll put this in a We'll put our ingredients in a food processor and then just to grind down yung olives natin mamaya. Okay? But let me just uh, put in our, our anchovies and let it toast. Ayan. Ayan. Then we'll, con we'll continue cutting our, uh, our uh, ingredients. Pepper. There you go. This will give a beautiful color to our food. So every once in a while, check on what you're cooking. We'll check on our... It's toasting well. Good. You want to grind them down? Yeah. Grind them down and then... And this will give saltiness uh, sa tapinad natin. Ooh, ganda. Good. There you go. Nice. It's cooking in the oil of the anchovies. Then we'll check on our fish. You see how our fish is uh, coming along? It's uh, four minutes. Beautiful. There. I'm using lapu-lapu. I like I like lapu lapu because it's uh, well that that's number one it's available in the market and it's flaky. Mmm, shut up! Wow, wow, that breading's really good. Huh? And we'll continue uh, cutting our uh, pepper, we'll cut it into uh, the smaller pieces. And then we'll put this in a in a food processor. 
You don't need to cut it too small. Then rough cut lang. Okay? Now, we'll put in our olives and capers. Let's drain our olives and cape and uh, black olives and uh, green olives. We'll use all of this. Let's drain them, drain them both. You want to drain them? You don't need the you don't need the the liquid there. Check on the tomatoes. Very good. Very nice. All of this is a food processor natin to. So now get this, open the capers, and then some uh, garlic. Put in uh, or three cloves of garlic. So everything's lined up, prepared. Ready? We put in our bell pepper. We'll put in our garlic. And okay. We'll put in our olives. Our Doña Elena olives. Yeah. Nice, one bottle of that, and one bottle of our green olives. Go, some capers. Young. Go, good. And then, before we move this, we'll check on our fish. Pag okay na to, we'll make it rest. Okay. Another minute will be good. And then check on our tomatoes and the uh, anchovy. It's cooking well. We'll add this too. It goes here. Okay. Now, one more onions and then lemon, then we're good to go. Let's chop this. See how easy it is to make tapenade. Just put everything there. And then you're good. We'll get a plate. Tabi muna natin yung fish natin. Okay. Okay. So this will finish our tapenade. Okay. With the lemon. We'll use some uh, zest of lemon. What we'll do is slice natin siya ng pahaba. And this will give a difference talaga sa, ano, sa tapenad natin. Magiging very refreshing tapenad with this. You can start eating with your fish. Or you can put this on top of a, uh, of a uh, toasted bread. Or in small pieces. And, and then put this here. Yeah, just a lemon. So, we'll use that in yung, yung, uh, juice. Niya. Put in the juice there. Go. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. Let's go with this. Let's pulse it. And then, pag nilagyan natin ng olive oil, konti konti lang. But we'll do it later. Okay. Yeah. Then just a drop of uh, olive oil. There you go. That's it. You don't need to put salt because the uh, olives niya is in brine already, so may salt. Meron na salt yun. We'll try it. Let's stop and add. Let's see. Ah, ganda ng kulay. <clears throat> Perfect. This will be very good on top of a toast. Mm. The lemon zest, the tomatoes, then you can taste the, the anchovies and the onions. Sarap! It's really good. From this point on, we'll prepare our bread. Okay. 
the shadow. Let's cut it to thin slices, not too thick. There you go. Yeah. And then we'll toast this. We'll put some uh, olive oil. So line up your bread. We're putting extra virgin olive oil always. And use your hands, no problem. Use your fingers, yeah. Pang scatter the oil. Yeah, just like that. Once it's toasted, sus. Crunchy na ni, lamin na ni. Okay, so now that our, uh, we put olive oil in our bread, we put this in our oven. And the oven's preheated now at 400, exacto yan. And we'll roast it for about We'll toast this one for about about five minutes. Yeah. Three minutes on each side. Just to get it toasted. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay. And then we'll start preparing our fish. Then We're toasting. Wow! Woohoo! Look at this. Ain't it? Nice. I like the way it's toasted. Love it. So with this, we'll prepare our uh, our fish with tapenade and our bread. Okay. Put the bread here. Woo! In it. Whoa. Our fish. Yeah. Okay. It's a bread. Begin the natin siya ng tapenad. So, it works both ways. You can put it in your fish and you can put it on, on toasted bread. So, it's bruschetta. Let's get some uh, <coughs> fresh basil. We'll garnish this with a little basil. Just rough chop lang. And it's your garnish at the same time. Yeah, it gives a very good flavor to your, to your palate. And it's a beautiful color to your food. Put it there, just like that. Your fish. And a little more olive oil. To your fish. And you're done. Fish fillet with olive tapenade and bruschetta with olive oil tapenade as well. Okay, so let's try this. What I'll do is um, I'll just put a uh, say a dash of uh, lemon on the fish and. Then we'll try it. Okay. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, people were were uh, commenting on sa YouTube ba? Siyang ganta naman ng utensils mo. Then I go, oh, no, let me check this uh, by uh, Bodum. Bodum. I don't know where I bought this. I think I bought this when I went to Italy. Okay, let's try our fish with olive tapenade. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> I'm try the bruschetta. <clears throat> it's perfect, no? You can you can serve this as an, as an appetizer, and then you can serve your <clears throat> your fish with all the tapenade your main main course perfect wow <clears throat> it's light it's refreshing and most of all it's healthy i'm looking forward to cooking more recipes for you and for your family other recipes put it in your comment okay and uh, thank you for uh, joining me again here in um, goma at home don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, press on the notification bell bye Perfect for lunch. 
Mm. Yep. Mm. 